Thanks for staying with us. It's a rainy, icky day out there. Perfect day to celebrate National Hot Chocolate Day. Woo. So we're paying homage today to <laughs> Chocolate Holler. We have Becca and Griffin here. If you've never been there, it's time to go because this is an amazing, amazing place that does not do coffee, hot chocolate. Tell yes. us about Chocolate Holler. Thanks for being here. Yeah, absolutely. So we actually do coffee as well. Oh, wow. um, so we are a full service <laughs> coffee bar as well as a there chocolate shop. Definitely more chocolate focused. Um, We've been open for just Three years. our third birthday. So exciting. So, yeah. What made you kind of start something like this? Because there's a lot of coffee houses, and you guys are associated with a cup of Commonwealth, right? So uh, everybody's familiar with that. Yes. What made you go in the direction of hot chocolate? Because you're kind of the only one around. Yeah. So what's really cool about chocolate and coffee is that each individual bean has such a strong flavor profile on its own. Um, so similar to how you'll try different coffees from different places, they have specific flavors. Chocolate's the same way. So this Askenazi chocolate, which we can try, and this ritual chocolate don't have anything else in it aside from cacao and sugar, which is what gives it like such a strong flavor is the region that the bean is from. Okay, in case you haven't noticed, this is not the hot chocolate that you get in a packet and put in a cup of cold water, hot yes. water, right? Yes. So there really is, just like coffee, the beans and everything are very, very important to this gourmet hot chocolate. Yes, absolutely. Hmm, a little science to this. So these, can you all distinctly taste like a strong difference in these chocolates too? Yeah, there are different tasting notes in each one. Um, my favorite thing to do is like hear other people's opinions on the tasting notes mm -hmm. because everyone can kind of taste the different profiles. Mm -hmm. So like I might taste vanilla and chocolate, but you might taste like strawberry and fudge. Yeah. So they each mm -hmm. bar has their own tasting notes, but it can kind of be different for each person that I'm tastes it. Um, mm -hmm. It's yeah, almost go like for a it. wine tasting. Life. Yeah. Yes. So what kind of hot chocolates do you offer there? My favorite thing on the menu is our sipping chocolates because it is actual like chocolate bars that are melted down. Oh. The chua that we yep. have here, the spicy maya, is actually one of the ones that we offer as a sipping chocolate. So it's like just a little bit of milk and then that chocolate is melted down into the milk. So you're getting a really concentrated chocolate drink and you can get it as a flight mm -hmm. so that you can try three of the different ones and compare it. Stop it. You yeah. have hot chocolate flights. We have hot chocolate yes. flights. Yes, we do. <laughs> it's amazing. I just put this whole thing and I'm just I'm happy for the rest of my life. Good, yeah. good. <laughs> Well, that were good. You guys also, you have a really, really cool program that I know when I first got here, I heard about it with your coffee shop, your pay it forward program. Mm -hmm. So that holds true in a chocolate holler as well. Yeah. What exactly is that? Yeah, um, I love the pay it forwards because it's a really cool opportunity to create moments with the customers. So some of the pay it forwards are really specific, like any drink for a UK student. So just any UK student that comes into the shop, be like, oh, I'm going to use this for a free drink. Hmm. But some of them are like for activities. So just a couple weeks ago, someone rode a cardboard box around the shop like it was a horse. <laughs> and so it just like really boosts the energy of the shop. It wasn't people me, are guys. Crazy. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't me. you. <laughs> <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> I promise. This time. <laughs> yeah, so it's really fun because people are getting free drinks, but they're also getting to participate in, like you said, a program where they are creating these moments in the shop and they're receiving free drinks that have been paid for by other people, which is really cool. It's amazing because not only are you going in there and getting something that warms your heart to be cheesy, but you're also, you can make such a difference in somebody else's day because something so small can just change somebody's entire week, outlook, life. You don't know what they were dealing with that day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the hot chocolate you brought today because we're gonna actually sample this. Yes. Perfect. Um, this is a sipping chocolate like Becca was talking about that we made into a hot chocolate called a Del Sol. So when you try this, it'll probably be a little spicy, yes. like in the back of your throat, because Listen, did you know? cayenne in it. Perfect. Um, <laughs> so it's definitely a little bit of an atypical hot chocolate, but just as good. So is there a certain way, okay, uh, this may be a really dumb question, but like we talked about, it has all the different flavor components of, say, a wine. When you taste a wine, you kind of, there's a, you know, supposed to be mm -hmm. a method to it. With hot chocolate, is there anything like that? We need to, like swish it around a little bit? I, I <laughs> like to smell it before I drink it. I, mean, I don't know if already. that's something you have to do, but I think that, you know, smell is a lot of what builds up your taste. So yeah. just smelling it before I drink it is like, huh? And I it does do smell it. good, I yeah. will tell you that. All right, so this is the spicy one. Mm -hmm. Yes. You'll definitely taste the cayenne like in the that back of your throat good. a little bit. You do, I love that. Yes. I love this. If somebody comes in, it's a little intimidating because, you know, you're, we're used to, we know what coffees we like, mm -hmm. but hot chocolate, we're, most of us are just used to that hot chocolate in a pack. So mm -hmm. can you help us out? Yeah. My favorite thing to do when someone comes into the shop is just break down a lot of the different drinks in addition to the sipping chocolates. We offer a lot of other hot chocolates that have different flavors. So we like make some syrups in-house, like a cinnamon syrup, a vanilla syrup, 
We have a drink called the Elvis that has banana and real Jif peanut butter like whisked Shut into the drink. Your face. So that one's really good. So I just like that to fine. figure out what the person's looking for. If they're wanting a sweeter drink, if they're wanting, if they really like something with cinnamon, if they really like something with mint, and just kind of breaking down those different drinks and finding out what they want. How about whipped cream? Oh, always whipped cream. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's the, thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, other than the hot chocolates, let's talk about some of the coffees. And did you offer food in there as well if people want to kind of munch on something with their chocolate? Yeah. We offer pastries, so we have cookies, we have some peanut butter bars, we have no-bake cookies, and we make all those in-house. So that's a really cool thing that we like to offer to complement your drinks. As far as coffee, going back to what you said, we're like full-service coffee bar, so we can do any latte, cappuccino, americano. We always have brewed coffee available. So That's awesome. You know, your place, and I believe there's somebody, I, w I won't call out names, but it's a great first date place. <laughs> because <laughs> Are you going to own that? it? One of our <laughs> camera operators, Clark, oh, went on a first date there because it's a good Sweet. thing you're not Two, drinking. It's different than coffee. It's mm -hmm. so original. Yeah. Did you guys think of that when you uh, started this idea? Something that's really cool about coffee shops is that it lets people sit down for a minute um, and just like converse. So something that we're really big on is trying to make our coffee shops so, like a living room for people. Yes. So when they come in being very inviting and warm and just making it a space where they feel comfortable and they can sit down. Super comfortable. Where that. are you located so we can all celebrate? Yeah. Old Vine Street. There you go. <laughs> celebrate National Chocolate Day, Hot Chocolate yep. Day. I'm Cheers down. to you. Cheers, Cheers to you all. Have a great weekend. Yes. We'll see you Monday.